What's up, what is it? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you in another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally, renowned, worldwide. I think this is where it's at, Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. I'm coming to you in another video. Alright, so, um, I'm just doing a little bit of catch up mode over here. This is the crypto cleanup scene right here, the crypto death watch slash cleanup. Doing a little bit of a catch-up mode. Uh, some things have transpired yesterday. I wasn't able to get to it. Uh, I was busy doing a lot of things. I'm still trying to catch up, by the way. But this is going to be like a part two to my video I did on Sunday when I did Death Watch. And uh, this is just kind of just to clean things up. All right. And so with that, uh, this, this cleanup is more of what has died and other things I'm peeling off that I've already peeled off but I'm just trying to give you more details as to why I've peeled them off or shed them out or kicked them out to the curb or whatever, however you want to state it as all right so with that death watch all right and clean up all right clean up on aisle 10 all right make sure you bring the mop and uh, bucket get you know we got to swab the deck all right, so uh, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Oh, okay, it's right in my face right here. Zincor, all right, so Zincor uh, died like early, early yesterday morning. Uh, day prior, it was paying. When I did the video on uh, Monday, it was paying. And then towards the end of Monday night, going into Tuesday morning, somewhere around there, Tuesday morning-ish, uh, as people started to talk more, people started to see more, People started to discover that Zincor has stopped paying. And it, it was because basically it went from instant payments to uh, saving, right? Anytime there's an unannounced change, that's usually bad, all right? But they left the chat wide open, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, but nowhere to be seen, nothing to be seen by... Uh, the people behind Zincor itself. They just kind of just abandoned ship. Closed up shop, abandoned ship, call it a day. Left the chat wide open. I think they're trying to make it look like it's still going, I guess. But um, it's easy to see that if it's not paying out instantly and it's saving, then it's over. It's a done deal. It's It's dead. So I, I thought I'd kick it off this morning with uh, Zencore. Uh, it's over. It's dead. All right. Nothing you can do. Nothing will make it come back. Unless all of a sudden they say, oh, we're back. Sorry, guys. Which is unlikely. All right. But I thought we'd kick it off with Zencore. All right. Dead. D-O-A. All right. What does that mean? Dead on arrival. It's over. All right. So, uh... It's, you know, as I parlay from that to, um, let's see here, where am I here? I think I might have uh, already taken off um, the site here. Let me just show you the site one more time. Oilbarrel.org. All right, a lot of people complaining about them uh, not paying. And even for me, it was kind of odd because I did a video on uh, Monday as well and it paid uh, one of two transactions I did two transactions of withdraw uh, USDT Tether and Solana oddly it paid me in Solana <laughs> I wasn't you know you don't expect that and then it said it paid the other amount but it didn't pay which is odd so that's what I found odd but then others have reported that yeah they didn't get paid um, even a, a friend in the space, uh, Ryan, the bit bull Glover, all right, um, has said that he got screwed over by these guys. To the extent of what? I don't know. Um, uh, he just said that they screwed him over. All right. And so, um, yeah, oil barrel. And as I looked, I checked back in to see if I've earned anything. And no, nothing. <laughs> they didn't show any earnings. Um, yeah, so I don't know if they're selectively paying. I don't know what it is. I think they're trying to make it look like they're selectively paying. 
But the day that uh, the bit bull asked me, hey, uh, is, your, is the platform paying you? Because it's not paying me. Um, I checked. And uh, like I told you what happened, that's what happened. Uh, it paid one, but not the other. And many others are reported they didn't get paid. Um, so that is that. Uh, but the day he asked, they closed the Telegram group, oddly. Right? But then they reopened it like a day later. And it's been kind of spotty. Right? Uh, let's take a look at the Telegram group. Um, I'll pull it up right now. Let's see what's going on in the Telegram group. So you can see that he'll do shotgun postings. Oh, uh... Successfully paid, successfully paid, right? Shotgun postings. All right. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't know. It, he's done, the, they've done this the last couple of days where you get boom, 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 post, post, post for like a, two minutes, right? And then that's it. Three, four minutes, right? And then the same thing happened the day before. Boom, 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 boom. This guy got paid, this guy got paid, this guy got paid, right? And then, you know, like shotgun postings, right? Boom, boom, boom. Chat's wide open. All right. No chat or nothing. So I don't know if they're deleting any sort of questions or chats. But, yeah, Oil Barrel is either selectively paying or they're not paying. But it's all bad. All right. So, yeah, screw these guys are done. All right. So that is Oil Barrel. Now. Uh, let's see here. What else we got going on? Um, I've already shed this, but I wanted to talk about it. All right. Let me go pull up. <laughs> we'll talk about these guys a little bit later. United. All right. But we're going to talk about, let's see here. Where is it at? I got to find them. Um, there it is. The people that just talk, right? All I do is talk, 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 talk. All right? It reminds me of uh, on passive, right? Where they just talk and talk and talk, but nothing, no action. All right. And that is uh, the We Are All Satoshi. All right. Kind of reminds you of on passive, right? That it's going to be amazing, right? All these different people, random pictures. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Oh, man, it's, it's great. It's, I love it. Uh, this Chavez dude is just. All talk but no action. All right, so full of shit. So let me let me go in and make double check. I, I want to see if uh, anything has changed, which I doubt it. But you know this guy is so full of BS. And there's a subgroup, all right, of uh, people I, f I I loosely follow because I, I'm more interested in what. They they offer this guy offers to his people, all right. Um, and all I gotta say is, man, this guy is terrible. <laughs> uh, I've been watching this guy for a long time, so nothing's going on. All right, so it's just all talk and complete bullshit from Chavez, and we are all Satoshi, right? Uh, I've already peeled this off a while back because that's all you see. They just talk, 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 right? Uh, Boomerang was supposed to launch months ago, and then all of a sudden they kind of quieted down the talk of opening and launching, and then all of a sudden in the past, what, month maybe? Uh, they're talking it up again that, oh, this Boomerang is supposed to launch, and the whole idea of it is the, the flash loan concept where you put in a certain amount, it trades on the flash loan, and a flash loan is like leveraging the trade to make it a higher return. And then it gives you the profit from it, right, in a flash loan way. So that's the talk about what Boomerang is supposed to do, right? So there's this guy. Uh, he calls himself, let's see here if I can find him, Cash Flow Club or something like that, right? Cash Flow. Where is he at? Where's this guy at? Now I got to look for it instead. All right, let me look for him. Yeah, so these guys are all a bunch of talking losers, right? Uh, we are all Satoshi. And they're going to keep dragging shit on and on and on. I mean, they've been doing it for shit forever. All right. 
talk a good game, but that's all they do. So the cash flow club, all right? So there's this guy that runs this club. All right? I don't know how many people is with him. I don't know if it's 617 or he has more than that. But this guy's been around for several years. And he's been terrible, <laughs> all right? Picking projects, all right? I think he's gone as far back as picking like now, I don't want to speak on if he's actually picked, picked uh, PGI Global or not. I want to say he did, but he's picked all these different stupid-ass programs, right? And he keeps talking about, you know, about this, you know, how he's trying to inspire people, right, with this transformational nugget, right? And he's done all these things over the last few years, you know, going into different programs and, oh, man, the potential you can make with this. Like, every, like, like, like this, for, for example, here with this boomerang, right? Uh, the project has a potential to generate 1 to 12K a month, right? He keeps talking it up about every program the same sort of way. And I'm, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if his people get burned out from all this, like, so-called, uh, I don't want to say promise, but he, in a, in a way, kind of promises that these things are going to happen if you just go with him with these things, right? And so the latest project he was talking about for a long time was this boomerang deal, right? I spun it off a while ago, and I kept telling everybody, all all Chavez of We Are All Satoshi just talks. He just talks and talks and talks. A lot of the top leaders know that that's all he does is just talk and talk and talk. But I guess the word of mouth uh, hasn't gotten around to reach this guy here to find out that hey uh the, the you know we are all satoshi is just talks so here's another one for example he, he followed this program called the velocity velocity global obviously that didn't last too long this was back in april and he followed this velocity global and nothing that came about it because he stopped talking about that real quick so it's the same bullshit but it, he's been doing it on countless of programs. And I've been kind of following this guy just to kind of see what kind of bullshit he talks about come out of him. You know, over the last couple of years, I'm just like, man, all this guy does is just straight up lose, 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 right? See, like Boomerang, Velocity Global, those, those are bullshit programs. So if you are part of Cashflow Club or you follow this guy, man, all I got to say is... uh if you want to hang with a loser, then you're, you're going to be a loser. All right. Uh, we're all Satoshi's trash. Boomerang's trash. Um, and everything else that this guy follows, his name is Owen. All right. It's trash. Um, just fucking bullshit. All right. You know, and then he, he changed the name to Cashflow Club recently, but it used to be called something else. Um... I mean, it just goes on and on. Let's see what else programs he did last year, right? Let me see if he talked about other stuff here. See some other bullshit matrix program here, I bet. See, over five years, this could be $3 million. Can we guarantee this? Certainly not, but we can target this, right? Do you have to start with 10K? No, minimum you can start is 500 bucks. So you're trying to get people to join in and... Oh my gosh, man, if it compounds, how much are you going to get? Oh my gosh, there's so much. All right, he's one of those type of guys. See? Freedom Eagle, hands-free. Hands-free, guys, hand-free. All right, he's trying to tell people, hey, if you're going into this thing, you got to, you know, submit your KYC. Yeah, this guy's full of bullshit, all right? So if you follow this guy, then, yeah, how does it feel to get stuck with this bullshit? Because now he's moved on because obviously he finally feels and sees that uh, we're all Satoshi's trash, and is not is worth nothing, except he just wasted his time. So he's moved on to another new one. All right, so let's just move forward past this, and uh, you, you we'll see what the newest one is. All right, he keeps showing all this shit. Oh, he demonstrates it. Oh, we tested it out and did nothing. <laughs> so I think, I uh, so I think he kind of just moved on to another new one now uh now there's a new one called uh billion dollar mind 
All right. And so, billion dollar mind. So, uh, let's see here. His vision is to help billion dollar mind process 1.25 billion in transactional volume in the next three to five years. That would put one billion in the hands of the affiliates that are building the business. So, yeah, if you keep following this guy, this guy's going to lead you a path to nothing. Because obviously that's all he's done so far. Fucking trash. So, yeah, get the fuck out of here. All right. It's just funny to follow this, you know, just to follow what he's trying to bullshit to everybody. But this guy's fucking trash. So, yeah, Owen, you suck. All right. Um, but, yeah, so that's uh, We Are All Satoshi BS with the Cash Flow Club bullshit. Um, and now let's go talk about um, another one that I've shed, but I haven't really talked about it, but I shed it a while ago. And I've talked about it, but I kind of not talked about it at the same time. And um, that's that Saphir Zanik, right? I've talked about all the changes they've gone through and things like that. And then I kind of just left it at that. So I'm just going to um, probably just <laughs> give you my last update on this whole Zanik stuff. All right. And that'll be my exclamation point because... Uh, at this point, I mean, they've already kind of moved forward with the direction they are going uh, in terms of um, what's happened with Zanik and all that. And I've kind of already talked about it, but I really just wanted to spin this off for good. Uh, let me see here. I think they call themselves Zero now. There we go. Zero International now. So... They've gone through different rabbit holes of things and, you know, they went from Saphir Zanik, Saphir got spun off, Zanik went into uh, another company momentarily and then they got absorbed to another company now called Zara. Alright. And that's where they're at now. I've kind of just left it in the past. Uh, You're given a timeline to move and convert your Zanique, uh stuff over to here. I think you might have to complete a KYC, which I'm totally against. I don't do KYC. So when is the Zanique exchange launching, right? Oh, they went to Nomo. That's what it was. They went to Nomo and, you know, just bullshit, all right? So it's like, eh, I'm not going to bother. So... Unless I could unload Zanik, I don't think I'll get anything really out of it. So, so yeah, Zanik token exchange uh, to 15th of June extended to July 12th. Missed that deadline. Two pan token exchange to the year KV. Got extended, so I missed that one as well. I don't have two pan, but those were the, like the main, probably top two in that whole ecosystem of that past in Saphir. All right. Uh, QuantWise is another name thrown in there. Um, they, had a, they launched a series of tokens and it was just like, it was just too much to keep up that I even fell off and just haven't stopped keeping up. Especially ever since they all kind of shifted things over, conversions and all this other stuff to Zara. I'm like, man, this is just too much. So I was just like, I'm done, you know. So, that's what happened with it. And the whole thing with Sphere Zanik was you will get these, um, what do you call these things, uh, hubs, right? And you will get, you know, hubs with master nodes on them. You'll get either a full or a partial. And you can earn so much from minting away. Uh, daily, right? And then it builds up, builds up, builds up. You can sell it on an exchange. They have they have actually had it on several exchanges. And it reached its peak during the last bull run. And then it kind of just tanked. And then they, that's why they went through all these different changes with QuantWise, Nomo, and all that stuff. And, and uh, I'm just like, man, this is just... You, it it, it kind of slipped through the cracks for me because of all the different changes you had to do. And then KYC, all this stuff. So I'm just like, man, it's just, 
I'm just done with this crap, you know. So that's the reason why I haven't talked about Saphir Zanik in a long time. I'm just going to just put a, a period to it and just be like, yeah, I'm not going to even bother anymore with it. All right, unless you could lead anybody that could show me how to get rid of them uh, or, or actually make something out of them with what I have, right, I'll be open to that. But if not, it's all good. Not worried about it. All right, I spun this off a while back. See? No way to see assets in that and such a happy change from Saphir to Zero. That, that's what happened. Saphir went away and he you know, jumped over to Zero now. Um, so suppose they had this convention over the weekend in Istanbul. I don't know if they actually did. Maybe they did. I don't know. Uh, let's see, back office transformation. I guess they're as part of this whole convention. That's why they had to close it. All right, so maybe they did hold it here. Layer K. Let's see if we have we got any nice females popping up. All right, so you have all that there. So it looks like lots of highlights of this convention. Istanbul, pretty nice hotel. All right, dog and pony show, B0, B pro, yeah, yeah, man, no females, what's up with that, let's see, so let's see some crypto females, man, all these guys, way too much, way too much sausage going on over here, there we go, let's see some females here. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. I quit from this company. Yeah, me too. You and me both. All right. I quit too. We end this biz six months ago. All right. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I said I, I. That's where it lost me was six months ago. All right. So it's all good though, like I said. There we go. Let's go see. Now they're showing some lasers. Let's go take a look. All right, we'll take the first one. All right, it's looking all right. Uh, you know, it's all right. All right, okay. Uh, the little middle one right there. All right, nothing uh, to see here. Older crowd. It's all good. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, that's what we see there. Yeah, not too interested in the new stuff, the layer K, all that stuff. Not too interested. Uh, let's see here. I would say no. I would say yes. I would say yes. I would say yes. And I would say no. So, uh, three out of five. Not bad. Not bad. It's three in the middle. No, I'll say yes to three in the middle there. You see? Uh, yeah, you see? So lots of uh, highlights here. So here's that. Okay, I like. I, I can see something nice here. Nice assets I see there. I like what I'm seeing with this one. The assets. She might be a little bit on the older side. Hard to tell. Might be on the older side, but I like the assets though. All right. So yeah. Anyways, enough of that stuff. I've moved on for these people. Um, Saphir, Zanig, Zara, whatever you want to call them, I, whatever, done. All right, I've moved on from them a long time ago, uh, but I wanted to put a period to it, all right, and I haven't really done that till now. So, yeah, I peeled these people off. I'm trying to swap the deck here, all right? And so, um, we already talked about Daisy. I don't know if there's anything new that's really transpired since their daisy meeting here about not being able to meet obligations and all that but uh you know they were kind of focused on the limitless project and all that in august and um it's, it's kind of up in the air with with the original daisy ai stuff and you know if, if it pays it pays if it doesn't i mean it is what it is, right? So we'll, we'll keep an eye on Daisy, but 
Um, I've already kind of, you know, spun them off. Really, I'm not doing limitless, and I don't care. Um, but hey, if if they find a way to do whatever with Daisy, they're supposed to be going as a hedge fund. Uh, they've supposedly removed people that chose to opt out completely. Um, those people that opted out were more or less circumstantial because it was just kind of based on uh, if their wallets were hit from a hack that was in the system. Uh, for me, I wasn't one of those people that was a victim of that. But if you were a victim of that, you would have to submit KYC and then submit information to complete the process to get out of Daisy, and then they're supposed to pay you. And that's the only part that's happened, right? They've already approved a you know certain amount of people, and the part is they haven't paid yet, and they've come with these excuses: oh, we can't pay, and all this stuff right now. Just hang in there, and we'll we'll work this thing out. It's based on um, you know challenges that. Uh, the jurisdiction is blocking the trading and all this other bullshit stuff. So yeah, as far as I know, I think Daisy's done, but hey, you know, it is what it is, what it is. We'll see what happens. If they pay, they pay. I'll still give an update on that part. Uh, anything Daisy, I don't care about Limitless. All right, I, I really don't care. So I won't do any Limitless updates, but anything geared towards Daisy, um, I might touch on Limitless, but anything geared with, with towards Daisy, for sure, I'll talk about. Especially, you know, it's the original people that kind of brought all this, you know, to the dance. So, I'll leave it at that. But, um, that, that would be my uh, spin-off of Daisy officially. Alright. So, uh, aside from that, just little periodic updates I'll do. All right, so that's that. And then uh, Earn.World. All right. Was one of the ones that were killed off last week. And I want to make something clear, all right. Uh, there's a Earn World group, all right. And I thought it was the person in my upline that referred me information directly from him. But it was actually, uh, he was informing his group about what was going on and his contact and all his other stuff. So I mistakenly thought it was towards me and he deleted the messages. I just want to make that part clear. He didn't delete any messages to me. He just never sent me the messages. It was actually to the group. But the information I'm telling you still doesn't change because basically I've said before and I say it again. Yeah, all the stuff that's happened with um, Earn World, they said that literally this is what happened. They said they got wrecked, all right, because of the stuff that's happened in you know in the world of of crypto, right? Uh, you know, all of a sudden there's a drop in Bitcoin. There's a big sell-off, right? Liquidations are happening or were happening, right? So liquidations happen, uh, sell-offs happen. Right, Germany, for example, sold all their Bitcoin, right? They sold all their Bitcoin. Why? Don't know why. Billions and billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin they sold, right? So that would trigger, you know, market collapses and stuff and liquidations. Uh, another one, of obviously, still lingering, by the way, is uh, Mt. Gox. That's happening, right? And... Uh, People are already kind of seeing a little bit of it, just from just a little bit of it. But there's more to come, all right? More is coming when it comes to Mount Gox. <laughs> uh, this is just scratching the surface right now. Mount Gox paying back people is going to load the market full of Bitcoin. Um, we'll see how much of a quote, you know, quote, unquote, collapse is going to happen in the market. But um, despite all that, though, with Earn World, by the way, you know, he was trying to say that his in, his uh, peep, his contact person for Earn World, you know, is giving him hope and stuff, and you know, saying, "Oh, this, they're doing these meetings, they're doing this, they're doing that, blah blah blah." But it doesn't change my thought about it that uh, you know they're done, right? 
it's just done. Once you liquidate it, it's over. How can you fix it? How can you save that? You can't because the funds are gone. Duh. Right? So that's what happened there. Um, yeah, so what what is there to see? There's nothing you can see uh, with what has happened. All right? They canceled the event that's supposed to happen in the next month or two or whatever. In the upcoming weeks, it's done, right? So what else is there for them to do? They can't do nothing. So it's not looking good. It's dead, all right? There's no way they can fix it. They're not going to fix it. It almost never happens. All right, but I wanted to throw that out there about Earn World, all right? Um, Because some of you guys got to wake up. All right. Uh, So that's what happened there. And um, another thing that's happening (laughs) in the upcoming days, oh man, I'm going to be trashing and talking so much shit in the next few days. All right. Of what's coming right here. United. Supposed to be coming back real soon. Counting down. All right. Eight more days. All right. Supposedly, eight more days that they're supposed to be opening up their back office to be able to see what's going on and you're supposed to have access to your back office your funds and all that stuff I would love to see my dashboard money to see if it was right where where I left off all right and uh, my dashboard money was looking real good Uh, and the money I was pulling out was looking real good in United before they stopped so if they do fulfill their promise, I'll bow down. I'll bow down to United. Be like, you know what? I'll even I'll, I'll apologize with a public apology. I'll bow down on my knees, and I'll just take it, you know. But being real though, being realistic, all right. You got Marco's dickhead that believes that this shit's gonna come back. That Jensen's gonna be, you know, whole and. And wholesome and all this other good stuff. No, it's not gonna happen. All right, it's done. You're gonna, you're gonna. I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to pay to play. Right? What does that mean? Oh, you know, in order to access your funds, you're gonna have to put in a deposit in order to facilitate withdrawals. All right? Because remember, I keep I keep reminding this because you guys are morons. All right? Jensen was in Vegas when he left it up to his person to run day-to-day operations while he was in Vegas to do webinars or presentations, whatever. All right, a live meet, whatever it was. And all of a sudden, things turn upside down. Oh, shit got liquidated. They got wrecked, whatever it was. Right? All of a sudden. So... How are you going to make something from nothing? You can't. All right? You can't make something from nothing. All right? You can't eat. You can't have steak and eat it too. Right? That's just what it is. So, with that, it's done. It's over. Um, You're not going to see this like you think you're going to see it. All right? And, uh, And you bozos that keep following the words of guys like Marcos, who's a fucking dickhead. All right, you guys are going to learn your lesson once again, but you guys won't humble yourselves. You guys will just fucking fall for his bullshit excuses once again. Oh, he's going to make up some bullshit like he always does, all right, or come up with some bullshit lies, right, because he thinks he's God's gift in crypto and he thinks he knows it, he knows it all, right, but he doesn't. He's full of shit all the time, lies all the time, like this bit harvest bullshit. This bit harvest shit is not gonna last till the end. Of, by the end of the year, watch. You'll see. It's not gonna last till the you know even till the end of the year. And then I'm gonna laugh at you guys once again. And I'm gonna laugh at you guys because back on May 16th, all right, I declared that all this bullshit <laughs> is gonna crash and burn. Vortec United, Bit Harvest. I'll even throw Titan in there because Marco's dumbass, 
All right, try to say, oh, maybe, perhaps, uh, they're going to merge Titan and Vortex together. Get the fuck out of here, man. But yet, he was trying to keep it a secret that Jensen was uh, was not running Titan. Obviously, we all knew that he was running Titan. And Titan did not have the traction that we have all would have hoped. It, it would have, It's a great platform. It was a great platform. Maybe a little bit confusing for the dumb bitches like Dora. All right, dummies like Dora can't understand that. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'd be surprised if she understood how to work Bit Harvest. All right, because that's how much of a dumbass she is. Uh, but that's besides the point. Um, all I gotta say is, prepare to be disappointed. All right, and then one more week when you're gonna be like blown away. Oh. I'll be surprised to even see my dashboard money on the board, but then why do I have a feeling that I got I'm gonna have to end up paying something to to either to get something out of it? Why do I have a feeling? I don't know. I just have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. All right, there's a program called Can Got. This was back in shit four years ago. Reminds me of Can Got. All right, Can Got went through some problems. They had a CEO that showed his face and all that stuff. They went into some problems, right? They had to do a little, you know, a little bit of a maintenance and fix up of their platform, and then they got the, yeah, everything back up and running, right? Uh, they ran into some money issues, and and guess what? You had your dashboard money, all right. They had to merge on over to, uh, I don't know, relaunch to 2.0, right? And guess what happened when 2.0 for Can got? All right, yeah, oh yeah, we got your dashboard money, but guess what? In order to facilitate the withdrawals, guess what happened? Yeah, do us uh, have a, a new deposit put in to facilitate withdrawals, because uh, what happened at one point oh is now uh, transmitted over as quote unquote credit to your two point oh, and so in order to cash out on two point oh, you got to put a new deposit to facilitate those withdrawals, and so I mean I, I actually did it back then because I didn't know any better. And it was a pain in the ass. The process of it was a pain in the ass. I was at least able to break even before they just kind of just stopped everything and went away. And I'm just like, man, that's a, that's a pain in the ass. I'll never do that again. And two, it, it won't last. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll be surprised to see what Jensen has in store. All right. Uh, for this whole 2.0 bullshit. And, uh,. I wouldn't be surprised with any sort of weird bullshit that comes out of it, but nothing good is really going to come out of this, all right? Nothing. So that's that's what it is. That's the bottom line, all right? And uh, Marcos could shove it, all right? You could shove it, Marcos, and, I'll, and the day that this happens on United, I'll say it again over and over again. You're a fucking dick, all right? And so I can't wait. I cannot wait when this happens again. I'm going to tell all you guys I told you so. All right, another week. We're going to see what happens here. What are they going to do? Are they going to do it? Or are they going to delay it against me? Like, oh, you know, we're still trying to work some things out. Give us more time. They're going to do something, all right? And uh, either way, it's all bad anyway. So I'm just saying. But that's your latest on Death Watch. I just wanted to just clean things up. All right. And uh, I think this cleanup is has been warranted. And now I'm able to get in front of it. And that's that. So thank you. Thanks for listening. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.